Well, good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Real Talk with SLR. How are you guys doing today? Guys, we haven't been on SLR Real Talk for uh, a few days. Yeah. I think the last time we posted on here was on Thursday, and I apologize about that. Um, we skipped our live last week, we didn't post on Friday, and but we're back on Monday, so hey, yep. that's a good thing, right? <laughs> heck yeah, heck yeah. Well, last week was Gary's birthday on Wednesday, and so we just ended up skipping the live completely. And then Friday, I actually was doing some editing and Gary was running in and out of town. We had yep. a lot of things going on on Friday, which you will see in a video uploading now to our main channel, Simple Life Reclaimed. Uh, that one's actually going to be up earlier than normal. It's already like basically done. I'm just waiting on some checks. So comes to the jets again, I think. Yeah, the jets are flying above us. You guys might hear it. I think they're getting ready for uh, Freedom Weekend. I think so. Yeah. And I've been uh, enjoying seeing them flying around. Like oh, that's it's something really cool. back in Vegas that uh, I definitely missed. Like you got to see everything being close to Nellis Air Force Base right yep. there, man. Ooh, buddy. Yeah. There was a there were some good good times and good jets I'd seen. Yeah, the jets are kid, when like, they fly over here, they're pretty low too, so you get a really no. good view over them. It's like they're just barely kissing the top of the trees almost. No, mapping the earth. Yeah. Which is pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. So if it gets a little loud, that's what's going on. Well. But yeah, um, today we've got a lot of work to do. Um, essentially today and tomorrow, we're gonna try to wrap up a lot of our work that we have going on um, over at our build. And then we're gonna be taking a pause because this weekend coming up is Freedom Weekend. Heck yes. We've got a lot of friends coming out that are gonna be visiting with us. Um, several different YouTube channels, which a lot of our friends just so happen to be YouTubers. <laughs> We're in the same um, industry and we are like-minded and we do the same thing. So it's just natural for us to create solid bonds with people. And yeah, so oh. this will be our second annual Freedom Fest. Yeah, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a good time. It's yeah. gonna be a really, really good time. We got a lot of work to do uh, before then, mm -hmm. but uh, yeah, we got, we gotta be hitting it like no tomorrow this week. Yeah. But we're gonna get a lot done this week. I'm, <laughs> I have huge faith in us and we're gonna have a wonderful time and can't wait it's gonna be awesome luckily for us the next couple of days the weather is going to be gorgeous like right now it is absolutely beautiful um, there's some it's kind of cloudy there's some light cloud coverage so it's a little overcasty but it is perfect the temperatures are phenomenal I'm just all you know ready with my little sweatbands and everything because I know I'm gonna be putting it in today yeah. um, and I'm gonna I'm just making sure that I stay cool but it's definitely not gonna be a hot one like how we've been suffering lately no yeah it's gonna be really, really good. I'm, uh, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm super excited too. We've got today, a huge uh, project ahead of us the next couple of days. Yeah, today but. and tomorrow we're gonna be putting it in. I tell you what. No. And then I think the rest of this week it's gonna be a lot of um, preparation to for all of our guests. We're gonna have a lot of people here. Um, we do have some last minute things that we have to go to the store for. Uh, there's a lot of things that we got to uh, put up, decorations, etc. I gotta get back to the porta potty people too. Um, we rented a porta potty last year for everybody, yep. and we rented another one again this year. And I gotta figure out what day they're gonna be dropping it off so I can have that area ready. Yep. So I don't know. There's a lot of a lot of squirrels running a lot around. Of things. I got yeah. the the squirrel brain shirt on today because it's very fitting. <laughs> it's very very fitting. There's so many squirrels running around here. Oh, it's gonna be a good 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 day though. I'm excited that the weather's oh. It, it's just so it's just so nice outside right now yeah like what is it 79 with 43 percent humidity gorgeous that ain't bad at all gorgeous I'll take that all day we could work in this like straight without yeah. having to take a break every 20 minutes i think it's only supposed to be a high of 84 today i'll I'd take it. it i will take it yeah and right. honestly i don't know what the, what's the weather supposed to be like this weekend when everyone's out here camping you don't want to know last time i looked at it, it said it was gonna rain what? Well, didn't it say it was going to rain last year, too? Didn't it rain last year? A little bit? I think so. I don't know. But... I think it did rain. People that were, y'all that were at the Freedom Fest last year, if you guys are watching this video, refresh our memory, because I feel like it rained a little bit. I don't think it rained, like, a lot, but I feel like it rained a little bit last year. I can't remember. I just remember it was hot last year. It was, but it was nice. It was a hot one. Yeah. It was nice. It was beautiful, but it was hot. Yeah. We were all definitely jumping in that pool, and, um... Yeah, riding around on the side by side. No, we didn't have the side by side. We were riding around the quad. Yeah. And um, Paragon, Chrissy, she brought her side by side, and everybody was out 
having fun, checking out trails and everything, which this year we know the area so much better. So yes. we'll be able to be much better tour guides than we were yes. last year. I hope that the uh, river goes down a little bit, but we'll see. Which, oh, over there for the mm -hmm. fishing spot? Well, we'll see. I mean, all the creeks and everything around here are all dried up now. Yeah, but it's still flooded over there, which is nuts to me. I'm like, it is. Dang. Yeah. That water is still there. Like, that's crazy. It's good catfishing. Yeah, good catfishing. Yeah. That's for sure. So bring your poles and your swimsuits. We'll go down bring to the. Bring your uh, bee suits. Yeah. Because the mosquitoes are real. It's like. <laughs> The camera did not do it any, like, justice at all. Yeah. But I'm telling you, like, it was thick. There was probably, like, one every, like, that. Yeah, like, no. One I, every I can, that all over. I can where tell. You're, and you're just like, I'm like, oh, my goodness. Dude, I, I got to get out of here. I got to run because these mosquitoes were eating me alive. <laughs> but, yeah. It's going to be a really good time. Oh, and I don't want to sound like a big poopy pants or like a jerk or anything like that but guys this is not an our freedom weekend is not an open invite for no. everybody um i know it's it probably sucks you know like oh you want to like I, I know it sucks that we're talking about it and everything and we're not just inviting the whole world but one we have a lot of children here yes. and we need to vet you before you're allowed on the property because we don't know who you are and we don't know if we want you around our kids and it's nothing personal it's just our take on how we decide to raise our kids and that's enough explaining about that yep. um and, and it's not only that but this is our home yeah it's this our is, home uh, it's not at a public park or anything yeah. it's, if it was at a public park or something like that then that would be way different way different yeah um but yeah i know where this is our home this is where we live this is where our kids live this is just, you know. just think about it this way. If you were to have a barbecue at your house and you were to invite your friends over, would you invite the entire internet? World. <laughs> I mean, just think about it that way. Yeah. And I want to say thank you so much for allowing us into your guys' homes yes. every day, every week. You guys watch our videos. Um, and you guys get to know us. And we love you guys. And you guys are so sweet. But until we meet you on that personal one-on-one, -on -one, uh, you know, and kind of garner a relationship... It just has to be that way, and I hope that you guys understand that. And if you think that we're jerks, well, so be it. But, I mean, it is what it is. We're just sharing our lives with yes. you, and this is something that is upcoming in our life that we're super excited about. So, naturally, we're going to be talking about it. Right. <laughs> but I do feel kind of bad um, that we can't invite everybody, because I wish that we could. Yeah. It's just not feasible, you know? It's just not. Well. So, that's enough of that. <laughs> that's enough of that. I just wanted to make sure that that was, that was known. Yes. But uh, we got to hang out with our very good friend, David, this weekend. Um, Uber, I will s spill a little spoiler, but you guys already knew it was coming. Uber is back on Come On Mountain. Yep, yep. And uh, we had a little surprise in store for him. <sighs> you guys are going to be seeing that very shortly. So, yes. yeah. You guys are going to see that on Simple Life Reclaimed, the main channel here. And, like, seriously, I'll be surprised if that video doesn't come out before this video. I don't know. We'll see. It's a toss-up on which video is going to come out first. But I'm excited. Yeah. I'm very excited. You boys were really putting it in. It was hot. You're a champion. It was hot. We uh we definitely kicked butt. Yep. Per the usual. Per the usual. You're That's so what we good. Do. You're so good. So I'm gonna answer a couple of questions for you guys really quick. We've got a busy day today and yes. we're gonna start hitting it. This week is gonna be just insane. Um we I'm gonna warn you, we might be doing some real talks all throughout the weekend. I will have to plan and figure that out. Uh, but I would love to get some of our friends out here and on the couch and talking with us and doing some real talk episodes in the morning when they wake up and all that stuff. So we might just, uh, for all of the days that we missed last week, we, we're going to make up for it this week. That's what I'm planning anyway. Um, hold me to it. Put my feet to the fire. I'm going to try to get it done. So let's um, answer some questions. All right. I'm going to say this one right now from uh, Renee Oliver. Gary, when's the last time you had a McTriggle? I haven't seen you doing the challenge in a while. Maybe you should versus come on to going at it. Man, the last time I did that was two years, with, two years ago. With Jared. Yeah. That was that was the last time I had one. Yeah. Like two that, years ago. It wasn't my challenge. I uh I just told Jared to eat a McTriggle. I was like, dude, you eat a lot of food, man. Like, <laughs> he was doing a lot of know, those like, mukbang challenges at the yeah, time. Yeah, and then and he, he turned was... it into a challenge, and he challenged me to it, and I was all, oh, dude, I don't know. And then I did it back to back, and I was like, 
Nope. <laughs> I'm, all, good. I'm, I'm good. I'm good on McTriggles right now because that was a lot. <laughs> you know, when you and uh, Jared were live and you did the head to head, um, then you got like, that's when you could really see how big of a mouth that bro has and how he could eat well, so, I so was... quick because you have a big mouth and you could eat really good, like quick. Yeah, quick. but he was, I don't know. He, he definitely smoked you on the live. But I yes. think during the actual video, like when you did the recorded videos, you beat him. Um, because you actually I got it in my mouth I didn't finish though I didn't, didn't, I didn't, didn't finish it either though no but still it's like yeah dude I don't know we'd have to go rewind the tape it's a couple years old now yeah I know but thanks Renee for bringing that up are you gonna challenge come on I don't know dude that that hurt man <laughs> you don't want to put that the hurt, hurt on him I don't want well I don't want to put the hurt on me again like <laughs> dude that that well, hurt like the amount of food that is, that's four sandwiches and you try to stuff them down your throat in five minutes. Like, yeah. I don't know. It's quick. It's quick. I have acid reflux and that did not help at all. <laughs> like, well, maybe maybe Big Mike from MT Homestead would take up on that. Yeah, I mean, he was brave enough to drink that rancid beer that uh, Drew at Dutch Creek Cabin brought over. So, I mean, for that, that meetup. That's still sore to even think about. <laughs> I'm just saying, maybe, maybe Big Mike right. will be down the for it. The can is somewhere over there. I had to hide it because every time I looked at it, I was all... Getting the heebie-jeebies. Yes. Like... <laughs> so maybe, maybe Renee. I don't know if we might bring that back from the grave or not. I'm not sure. And they're um, flying around a lot today. Yeah, that's why I think they're getting ready for something. They might be... I mean, you know in Vegas, they would usually do like a flyover for Fourth of July or something. Maybe they do that out here too and we just don't know about it. I mean, that it, was it sounds cool. like it. I did the Blue Angels out in the yeah. Vegas area. That, yeah. was, that was something, man. That was definitely something for sure. Um, okay, so Athema the Hun, I hope I pronounced that correctly. Happy belated birthday, Gary. Mer Thank you. Mel, where did you get that visor? I really need those types of headgear. I can't uh, wear regular caps with, the, with these dreads. Also, we're planning on heading that way hopefully soon. Our folks in Oklahoma, okay with peeps that look odd, love God and our Texas loud. We had a pretty rough run up in here in Oregon and I'd like to find us a place where we can just be if you know what I mean. I do know what you mean. Yeah. Uh, we don't live in Oklahoma, we live in Arkansas. Uh, yep. And uh, about the visor, I got the visor at Walmart. <laughs> I get most of my stuff at Walmart. I'm a Walmart shopping. Yeah, yeah I'm, a, I'm a Walmart shopper. Uh, a lot of my pants, I get like, oh, those are such cute pants. I get my bargain bin pants at Walmart. They're like $10. It does what it does. I mean, they're comfortable, and I don't really care if I ruin them because it was like $10. So yeah. I don't really care. Um, and as far as peeps being very accept accepting and everything out here, we have had nothing but a wonderful experience out here in the South. Um, there's people of all different shapes, sizes, colors, backgrounds, um, yep. everything out here. It's not just one particular thing out here. And everybody is just warm, welcoming, loving. I have had the most wonderful experience out here. I don't think that any of those things that you described would be off-putting to anybody out here. I think that they would just embrace you with warm, loving arms like they did us. And you yep. are very welcome. You yep. are welcome. So, um, let me see. How the Oklahoma... Grammy Sandra uh, Madrano Madrano. I'm sorry my bad how do we send things to y'all so you guys never have to send us anything but if you are so inclined if you guys did want to send us something uh, we it is P.O. Box 780 Boonville Arkansas 72927 and we have it down in the description of all of our videos on this channel and on the main channel Simple Life Reclaimed so again we don't ever ask for anything you guys are just, you know, but if you guys want to, sometimes people feel like, oh, I was thinking about Mel or I was thinking about Gary and, uh, I found this. yeah, I found this. And one thing that I do like is your guys' letters. So if you hand write us letters or, um, you know, feel like sharing any of your experiences that way, we do keep all of them. So those are always much appreciated as well. So down in the description box below, my friend, um, this is from Eric Sen, and it's a question about YouTube and social media. If one wants to get into, are there any specific channels uh, you would recommend? Uh, as a follow-on, what are the camera or cameras you would recommend? I know I've heard you talk about software, one to start out with one and one to graduate to. So part question and part comment. Um, I know I've heard you both say you have answered a question multiple times. 
uh, and you direct subscribers to watch prior videos to get the answer, what would be better? Uh, what would be a better setup website with a fact page to answer there and just point folks to the fact page? Do you have a website? Do you need help setting it up free of charge? So Eric, um, so I don't have. We don't have a website. We just have uh, YouTube. We do Instagram, and we also uh, that's it. We do Instagram and YouTube. I do have a Facebook page, but it's not really. It's literally just reposting links to our YouTube page. Um, I don't really want a website at this time and creative control when it comes to stuff like that, I wouldn't give anybody the keys to it. No. So I, as much as it's so generous and as much as we appreciate your offer or maybe somebody else's offer to set us up a, a website for free, uh, we're gonna have to politely thank you and decline though because no. we like creative control when it comes to that as well as um, that's just more of a personal thing and right now I'm just not ready for it. Now setting up a fax, uh, like a fact page would be probably a little beneficial, but to be honest with you, it's better, it's more fun to answer the questions as they come in um, and also for people to really get to know us and watch our journey. So uh, we don't mind answering things multiple times and the types of questions that we would be putting on the fact page would just be some stuff like, what does 41.36 stand for? You know, how are you guys related? And it just seems, I don't know if it would, if it really would look that great on a whole website. I don't know. I just don't really know if I would like, <laughs> like that flow. So I'd have to consider that a little bit more. Now on to um, the other question about uh, YouTube and social media. If one wants to get into, are there any specific channels you would recommend? Um, that just depends on what you want to do. It's YouTube. So what are you into? What are, what, I don't really understand the question fully, like if it's, people to teach you how to make better videos or marketing. I don't really fully understand it. If you want to go in more detail, please email me simple life reclaimed vlogs at Gmail. I'm happy to answer any questions um, about that specific one. And then uh, the camera and cameras that I would recommend. I use like six different cameras. Uh, we use the drone DJI mini two. We use two GoPro eights, one GoPro 10 and a DSLR, which is a Canon 90 D. So that's all the equipment that I use and um, the software that we use presently to edit is uh, Adobe Premiere Pro and that's the one that we graduated to. When I first started out doing uh, YouTube we were using a program called VideoPad which is very similar to uh, Adobe Premiere Pro but there's a but if you want to edit in higher quality videos doing the 4k and stuff it's really slow. Um, so when it's you're generating the preview and you're watching it as you're editing it would be a little glitchy. So I would always do our videos in like 1080 or lower quality, um, but since we've you know got better internet speeds and I can upload a lot faster out here, I've decided just to bite the bullet and I use Adobe Premiere Pro and I love it. Uh, it's amazing. It has so many different features and it's really user friendly and there's a ton of videos on YouTube where you can learn how to um, hone in on your skills and be better at it. So if you're looking to do something on that program and you don't know how to do it, it's a quick Google YouTube search boom, you're gonna get your answer. You might have to thumb through a few videos for it, but you'll get your answer, so. I hope that helps, Eric. <laughs> that was a mouthful. <laughs> um, let me see. Uh, um, why are, this was actually a question that we got asked a couple of times. Uh, they did not see us digging trenches for power to the animal tier. Uh, why are we not putting power down there? So right now, I am uh, not doing anything with that area. I've got to figure out exactly how many or how many wires I need to run and what I need to run over there exactly 100% and I'm going to actually tie that into the garage because the garage is right there. So it will be a lot easier for me to run that down over there. I don't have to do it right right now because we don't have no animals. That's not going to happen right right now and uh, yeah, we got to get infrastructure in first. So infrastructure first, figure out where everything's going to lay out. And then I can say, okay, what do we need in those areas? Because first things first is uh, obviously the water. I didn't want to mess with that. I wanted to get that in the areas that we needed Yeah. just in case. Cause water is life. Yes. Yeah. That's something I can get done real quick. And wire is uh, one of those things that is going up <laughs> mm -hmm. and up and I don't want to buy too much of one or not enough of one and yeah so i really wanted to make sure i was i'm spot on on what i need to do with that guy yeah that can come later that's that not a, a that was later. not a, a necessity 
I and I can always run an extension cord, uh, cord as B right now. So. Yeah, we could. No. We definitely could. The only thing that I would think that we would need power down there for is like baby chickens or uh, maybe Which in the winter again, or something. baby chickens I would put in the garage where it's, where it's got yeah. power. Yeah. You so, know, and that's where I'm saying like certain things like that. You know, I know in the winter time we're going to make sure that the infrastructure is there good for, for sure. them. So to where they might not need any heat or anything else like that. Yeah. But I don't know. We're, we're going to cross we're, that road when it, when it comes here. We just didn't think that it was a necessity for this time because, again, we don't know what the future holds for us and if we will even ever want power down there. Yeah, I mean, we, we can always go with the solar situation down there Exactly, because so. so our house is <laughs> the end game for our house. Yes, we are setting up grid power here to our home, um, but the end game for our house is to be a hybrid house with that works mostly off of solar. Yes. The reason why we're not setting up solar right now, straight off the bat, is because of how expensive it is. Um, it's not even so much the panels, it's literally it's, the battery banks that cost so much money. Yeah, but um, it's also the the panels in the sense of like of how it. much how much energy do you want to pull at one time? Mm -hmm. And then how much are you going to be pulling from that battery? So now you have to figure out where that battery needs to stay at mm -hmm. uh, capacity wise, which most batteries you want to keep them right around like 50 or like 30 to 50 percent. Yeah. Like most of you don't want to drip, drop down to 50 like at all no yeah because then it's harder yeah it's harder to get it back up yep. so it's and it might kill the battery it's going to kill the battery a lot quicker too so there's a lot of there's <laughs> okay a lot of now you need a, that many batteries so that way you can pull that much and then you need that many solar panels or solar or wind or whatever you have to get that much energy to where you're constantly charging but barely pulling any and you're going to always stay topped off yep and the, so the end game will be a hybrid home hybrid home, meaning no. that it's going to be connected to the grid always, um, and we're going to have solar and wind and stuff like that, and the majority of our consumption will be with regenerative regenerative measures, but on the times when we're not able to recoup the energy, that's where the grid comes in and recharges those batteries and makes sure that nothing ever goes below 50%, so at the very least, it's going to make us have an extremely, extremely affordable um, power bill every month. But in worst case scenarios where the grid goes down, um, we're out of power for a couple weeks due to storms or whatever, hopefully we'll have enough set up to, where, to be able to use as a backup. But we'll um, also have a generator to where we can start yes, that guy up. Exactly. We generate power that way yep. for the times, like say in the winter, and there's no sun. So we're, we're thinking else. about it. And, and the end game is definitely going to have all of those things. Uh, but for right now, it was cheaper because the power company came out and they put set the pole and everything for free yeah. all we had to do was buy that wire that you see in us bury and all and the, the piping and everything electrical um, boxes yep and the boxes so i mean there was a cost associated with it but it wasn't no tens and thousands of dollars to set up power out here like how unfortunately it is for many people we got lucky david i know <sighs> it's terrible that's insane but guys, it's all the questions that we're gonna answer today. Sorry, We've already been rambling on and on. Um, we got a video coming on for Simple Life Reclaimed shortly, so hopefully you guys will check that out. This week is gonna be a busy one, so buckle up, buddy, because mm. we got a we got a lot coming down the pipe. So we're gonna get to work. And until the next one, guys, we love y'all, and we hope you have a good one. We'll catch y'all on the next one. Bye, you guys. Later. later.